as i was mentioning uh, we will be having a special guest with us uh, on on the phone actually uh, that's andrea harbetti uh, she is uh, elite canada nova cosmo worldwide 2024 she she is the winner of that title and she is with us today uh, andrea welcome to harjinder gel show ma'am um, hello thank How you for you? having me <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Good. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Andrew, thank you so much for sparing some time for our listeners and viewers. Um, uh, actually, we we had a, a special interview with uh, Jasmine yesterday. She was uh, the winner of the title uh, Mrs. Canada. She was with us with us in in uh, studio yesterday, and now we are having you over the phone because you are okay. in 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 Edmonton at this time. So that's why we are just conducting this interview over the phone. Otherwise, I wish you were with us in the studio. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Too bad I can't be there, but um, it's my pleasure to at least. Right. So yeah. Andrea, before we talk about uh, the details about the 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 Canada Nova uh, Cosmo Worldwide uh, competition, uh, let's let's start with yourself first. Tell us more about yourself. I um, uh, <laughs> so I'm I'm based in Edmonton. I'm a realtor. Um, okay. I used to be I used to be a teacher. I used to be a university teacher. Okay. I lost my job during COVID because a lot of international students that I was teaching okay. um, stopped coming. Right. So um, I've been and I've been investing in real estate for years, even before that. Okay. So, uh, so becoming a realtor was just a natural transition. That's good. Actually, um, when when you t- yeah. when you uh, told me that you are a realtor and you are in Edmonton, yeah. so uh, in these days we are also advertising one one not one uh, actually multiple projects in Edmonton. So so probably I'll I'll be in touch with you regarding the real estate projects too. That would be amazing. <laughs> yes, I would love to. <laughs> right, because I I cannot be competing uh, uh, you in the competition uh, where where it's a beauty beauty competition, but I can compete you in real estate. Well, that's even better. <laughs> that's even better. That's, <laughs> right. that's my real passion. Exactly. So, so, so Andreas, uh, tell us about uh, your um, uh, experience in this uh, competition. When we talk about the Elite Canada Nova Nova Cosmo Worldwide Competition, wh- uh, what, what? How did you I mean, get in? So in normally, touch? normally I would not. Um, it, it was never really my aspiration to be a beauty queen. Okay. But um, through my real estate client. Okay. I was introduced to that. Okay. She said I'd be a perfect candidate to okay. to try to, to try this competition. She said you're beautiful, you're smart, right. um, you would be perfect for that. Okay. And she um, started the Nova Cosmo Agents. Right. Um, and I said, why not? Let's let's give it a shot. And I'm very happy that I did because it definitely exceeded my expectations. Very good. I did not expect it to be so much fun and on such a great level. I I feel like no expense has been spared. Right. During the during the three day pageant, um, the restaurant, nice hotel um, experiences such as dinner at Sea and Tower. And the final evening, um, right. they were all great. So I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, and like I said, it really exceeded my expectations. Um, the other contestants, the other girls mm-hmm. were super nice. So it felt like a real sisterhood. Everybody was supporting each other, empowering each other. So right. great experience overall. So so if I'm not wrong, there were four different categories in, in the pageant, right? So can can we know more about those different categories? Yes, there are four different categories. So the first one, so so there, there was a miss. Mm-hmm. So I think the miss was up to the age of. I'm not. I'm not quite sure about the ages. Okay. But I think up to the age of 29. Okay. And then there was misses and miss. Right. So I think the one was married and the other one was unmarried. Okay. But um, again, I think the ages were up to up to 44. Okay. Because in my category was 45 plus. Okay. So. Mine was the oldest category, uh, married or unmarried, didn't matter. Right. Um, so, um, yeah. Right. And how would you encourage other girls in in, in the field? And 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 rather they are they are in the similar field or they are in any other field. So how would you encourage for to explore these kind of um, uh, events or ventures? Um, I'd just say why not? It's um, it, it's. Um, you think you'd be good good at this? Um, it will it will give you the confidence. Um, you there's a lot of public speaking involved, being on stage, all the new experiences that um, right. you normally probably wouldn't have, and then you also um, 
meet so many new people that can lead to many opportunities in your field. There's all, all these girls were some kind of professionals. We had right. a we had a doctor, a dentist. Um, you know, it was it wasn't just girls that were in into beauty and pageants. Mm-hmm. There were girls that usually had some kind of platform, something to share um, share with the world. So. Um, yeah, don't right. think, I think I made a mistake of thinking of it at first as right. just a beauty pageant, but it was so much more. Andre, actually, actually, you know what, in, in um, all the genders, not only in girls, but also in, in, with the boys, and uh, I think this is some some kind of, we, we, we are in a, in a dilemma, or sometimes if, if anybody is in 40s or 50s or even 60s, sometimes they limit their self, uh, but I think they, they, should, yes. they shouldn't be worried about their age. Yes, uh, yes, and I think this is slowly changing. I think people realize that um, your life is not over mm-hmm. once you hit 30, as I think it used to be. I think yeah. people used to think that. Uh, so I think it's never too late. So I was in the oldest category, and so still there were ladies competing for that title and had a, had a great time. Right, and what was the criteria in your, uh, your um, category? How, 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 how were you chosen? So it was uh, oh, uh, it was just uh, age and then interview. So they conducted an interview with you, and they wanted to see whether uh, whether you're articulate enough to right. to be able to be on stage, to be able to speak. Um, I'm I'm not sure to what extent looks were important, but I assume they were somewhat important. Right. Because it's a beauty pageant. Right. Um, but. Uh, Again, it wasn't just about beauty. I, they told me that they really needed to see the personality and um, and how you conduct yourself and and how you can speak and mm-hmm. that that's how they they chose the contestants. Right. And Andrea, uh, what would be the next step? So, uh, will there be any international level uh, competition for for this category yeah. as well, or um, w- w- what's the next stage? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, the international competition is at the end of November. Mm-hmm. So tentative dates are November 27th, uh, right. five days after that. Um, so for five days, this competition will last. Right. Um, it will be in Toronto. I'm super excited for this one because now I know what to expect. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect when I right. went into the national one, but right. now I know what to expect and I'm uh, very excited to meet women from all over the world. Um, so the first one from each category was chosen to represent Canada at the international competition. That's great. So, Andrea, before we finish this interview, uh, why don't we just uh, uh, advertise real estate now? <laughs> <laughs> so, so because as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are doing a, a three or four different projects in Edmonton. So, tell us a little bit about uh, the, the real estate market in that area. What do you think? Why why okay, somebody should okay. invest, or why why um, why somebody should okay. uh, think about the real, real estate in Edmonton? Absolutely, that's my favorite topic. So, I was actually <laughs> very surprised that you were in real estate. I had no idea about that. Right. So, <laughs> this is a really a very pleasant surprise. Right. Um, so. Now, um, the market in Edmonton is on fire. Uh Um, It was very stagnant for many years. Then there was a little spike in 2022, but then it went back to normal. And now again, um, there's multiple offers on many properties. And it's because it's one of the most affordable markets. And Uh I think the most affordable big city in Canada. Right. Um, So investors recognize that. Uh And uh, and they want to buy before the price goes up. Mm-hmm. Also, people that let's say live in Ontario or or BC, where prices are so much higher, right. and they can't afford to buy anything. Exactly. They move here. They move here just to buy a house to be able to live, to be able to afford the mortgage payments, because it's very affordable compared to Ontario. Right. It's probably one third of the price. Right. It's like triple in in Ontario or in Toronto. Right. Or in Vancouver, or even four times more. So, right. Uh, so now, I, I think right now, still pretty affordable, mm-hmm. despite the multiple offer scenarios. Every property, mm-hmm. um, but it's going up, of course. Um, Calgary has already gone up thirty percent in 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 the last year, couple of years, I think. Right. Um, Edmonton is lagging a little. Yeah. But usually Edmonton lags in terms of real estate behind Calgary. 
mm-hmm. a little bit. Great. So all the all all the realtors are very optimistic. That's great. See now how how confident you were I mean, for you the real estate. You can see that. <laughs> so <laughs> so in case if any of our uh, viewer or listener wants to contact Andrea, they can contact me and I'll I'll pass the pass the number and then we can do some real estate too. So uh, Andrea, thank you yes, so much please. and hope to, to hope to see you soon yeah. in in Edmonton because as I mentioned, we are also promoting some projects there and uh, maybe I'll I'll be there one day. Perfect. Yeah, I, yeah. I would love to meet up and talk about it and and help you with uh, anything help and help you promote thank those and collaborate. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. So, friends, this was uh, Andrea Horbetti, and she's a uh, Elite Canada Nova Nova Cosmo Worldwide Pageant winner. And uh, we were just doing this interview uh, for uh, encouragement to all the uh, ladies out there. They, if if you are just thinking that you are 40 plus or you're 50 plus, uh, there is no limit. You can do whatever you want to do. Thank you so much, Andrew, and all the very best for Thank all you your so future events. Thank you so much for having events. me. It was my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, dear. Okay. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It.